Hello everybody, welcome back to another StarCraft Remastered cast. A very special show match today. We have access to, thanks to the guys over at Peak Battlefield. Which is a Chinese tournament that was streamed on Douyin and Billy Billy. Douyin being the uh, TikTok, Chinese TikTok I believe. And Billy Billy is kind of like Chinese YouTube, sponsored by Gan, organized by Wo New. Big shout out to all those guys sending me the replays and allowing me to cast this series. Now, Flash has just come back, not only to the ladder, but also to competition, which is huge news. If you haven't heard about it, haven't seen his apology, I made a whole video uh, reacting to the translated version from Jinjin. I'll put a link on the screen, maybe at the end, so you guys can go check that out. But he is back. And he is playing on uh, basically all the... Uh, basically in all the tournaments. He's going to be going into Pro League. He's been playing some Pro League recently. He's going to be playing in SSL. He may even come back to KCM. That's an unconfirmed, but that is a possibility. Shen doesn't think so, but I beg to differ. I really hope that he does come back to KCM. I'm really looking forward to it. But for today, we have a best of seven between Flash and Xiao Shuai, one of the strongest Korea, uh, Chinese Zerg players in the world. First... Marine is going to be sent across the map with a bunker being made. Now, this 12 hatch is going to be tested. Xiao Shuai going to continue to mine gas while this is going on, which can uh, hurt him long term. We'll see if he's still able to build his uh, lair when the time comes. It looks like he will have enough money for that. And he's going to get his lair at about three minutes, a good timing. I think handling this little bit of early aggression pretty darn well. Now, being that Xiao Shuai is one of the best Chinese players uh, out there right now, I'm hoping that we'll see him win at least one game in this series. I know that sounds pessimistic, but Flash is just that good. He may be a little bit rusty coming back to the ladder, coming back to... Uh, professional play but it's flash after all this guy is a god literal god if you ask some people uh, he's been called that the ultimate weapon and from what i've seen from his latter games he is still worthy of that moniker so we'll see what he brings out so far a very standard build academy rush off of one Rax, you should have the second on the way. There it is. He's going to be pushing out across the map, putting on some pressure, forcing out sunken colonies, most likely going to be his goal. Spire has started for Xiao Shuai. He's looking to be uh, playing this out very standard. ZVT has just four lings at the front, checking on everything. And he's going to hit this timing where he can build... You know, a good number of mutas to push back Flash. But Flash, what will his follow-up be? I've seen him play Valkyrie. I've seen him play Mech. Uh, Mech Switch. Uh, we've seen him go four barracks with plus one. He's not doing that this game, but he may still go four barracks. He has his engineering bay. He may go three racks into a factory. Uh, the world is his oyster right now. He's got plenty of options to go with. Goes ahead and drops the scan. Sees the natural and how many sunkens are there. Just the one creep colony is ready. Can morph that in at a moment's notice. But I think Xiao Shuai has slowed this down enough. He has the vision on these marines. That he doesn't need to build this into a sunken colony. He can just make all of his mutas. And in fact, will pop seven at a time. 
And the eighth one is going to start in a moment. No, he starts flyer attacks instead. So going for flyer attacks, unlikely that we're going to see some sort of guardian play out of Shao Shui. Instead, he's going to be fighting the Marines out in the front. Has a little bit of time before range finishes up. And you can abuse that if you pull all your mutas together and start to hit these Marines right before range finishes, you can tilt things in your direction a little bit to the point where you can uh, possibly dive on top of the Marines and just start to kill them off with uh, Lings and Mutas. He flies through. He gets like four kills, five kills maybe on these SCVs. Pretty good stuff for Shao Shui. But the attack coming into the natural is very scary. We have more links coming out, but he has to bring them all together at the same time. Let the sunken colony die, get the links and mutas together, and hit this all at once. Pretty decent job jumping in at the same time. Now with this many mutas remaining, I think he can finish this off with just some good micro. He will be able to pick that off, and he is going to hold. Big moment for Shao Shui. He will pull back. As more marine reinforcements arrive, some of these are very low. Three of the mutas are extremely, extremely low in that health. But Shao Shui has survived. Now, in the back of his mind, he's got to be a little bit worried about the fact that there's no third base to his name. I'm going to dive on top of these marines once again. He's actually cleaning all of this up very nicely. It's a little bit of an overextension by Flash, I feel. He just needs to scan and see that there's no third base and that there's not really any pressure uh, for him to go out on the map and try to do stuff like this. Can Shao Shui push the issue in this natural? Now that he's killed the majority of the Marines, it seems like he won't be able to. Uh, even though he's continuing to produce mutas and lings, I'm a bit worried for him because the armory is about to finish, and then we're going to have Valkyries on the field. Good fight over by these barracks. And he's going to go after the supply depot with some lings as well. He could finish that off uh, if he commits. Instead, going to fly in here and take out the SCV building the turret. Only three Marines over this position, so he should be able to slow us down a little bit more. Not too many uh, Mutas remain, though. Lings are going to run up this ramp. This is big. He's just going to go for it. Mutas are running low. Not too many of them left, but the Lings will survive for the most part. And as long as he stops these Marines from coming up the ramp, he should be able to kill all the turrets with the Lings. Now he can go to work on these SCVs. He's taking control of the barracks. A very big moment for Shao Shui. As long as he controls this position, it should be impossible for... Flash to win. However, two Valkyries are about to pop out, and that changes things. The SCVs in the gap in the wall have been pushed back to open up that spot for more Lings to slip in. He did kill the Lings that were working on the turrets in the main base. Allowing these turrets to stay alive is huge. Here comes the Valkyries. Two Valkyries are out. Time to run away. Shao Shui will be pushed back. And Flash is still in an okay spot, although 24 workers is all that remains. Pretty rough stuff for Flash. His economy has been very badly hurt. He's forced to keep a lot of his SCVs off the line. More Lings have arrived at the front. They're going to dive on top of this Marine. Bunker still has some units inside of it. These Valkyries will be sent back home. Time to make some Scourge. And indeed, they are flying across the map. It's all going to come down to if he can get kills on these Valkyries. Because there's still nothing covering these barracks. Oh man, he's just going straight into Hydralis Den. But I do not see a Hive. If you want to go for a play like this, this is something Soul Key will often do. Switch things up into just a very aggressive Hive. Try to kill you outright off of two bases. It's tough. Difficult to pull off. But you need the Hive a lot quicker if you want to have a chance at making it work. Valkyries are getting some nice shots off, but one of them stalls out. Will die to those four Scourge. Committing all four Scourge, guaranteeing the kill. As another four to potentially pick off another Valkyrie, but two more are about to pop. 
as soon as those two more Valkyries come out, I think we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Xiao Shuai starting to make Hydras. Diving in once again. Can he get the kill? Not able to get either of those Valkyries. Another one is about to come out. Three Valkyries total now. And the Marine move out is looking quite scary. The Valkyries are going to just execute these Mutas absolutely painful only two remain and so two coming across the map much less scary than uh three or four but we don't have lurkers yet and these lurkers are just being made now there these marines are going to get right on top of all this and i think this might be lights out nice job sniping one of these valkyries as the marines are getting into position flash is just going to walk straight on by he's going to walk right past this and go for the natural and this might be the killing blow the lurkers are gonna pop out from behind can he actually win this fight no it doesn't look like all the links go down he wasn't able to wait for these lurkers and the marines can go up into the main now even though he can counter attack two bunkers with marines inside will definitely hold all of that and xiao Shui is gonna lose game number one a pretty intense first game I have to say, that was not an easy win for Flash by any stretch. That was uh, getting pretty scary. You can see the barracks were in a very uh, damaged state at the end of that attack. He almost took complete control over the main base. Just the fact that these starports were still making and they were able to pump out those Valkyries saved the day for Flash. And the follow-up from Shao Shuai was a little bit slow. The, ex the changeover into Lurker. And usually when you try for a play like this, you want to have that, that uh, Hive on the way. You want to have the Hive coming as the Mutas are going in and doing these attacks. You want to be following up with that Hive immediately after trying to get these Lurkers in front. And then bring the Defiler uh, to the fore to be able to end that game, but he just wasn't able to quite get it done. Flash did a great job blocking with SCVs, stopping additional links from getting in and just hanging on as good Terran players do. Jumping into game number two now between Xiao Shui and Flash. Again, it's a best of seven. So first to four, minimum number of games we're gonna get here is four, maximum seven. What's going to happen in game number two? Let's go find out. Okay, Dominator. Our next map with Flash over in the center right. Xiao Shui down in the bottom left. And I was kind of joking earlier about hoping to see uh, Xiao Shui take a map off of Flash. Kind of not joking, but not really joking. Uh, if you know what I mean. But that last game, man. That was really, really close. A couple of things went a little bit more Xiao Shui's way. Uh, he could have absolutely won that. It's always kind of painful when you get on top of the Terran production and they find a way to push you off and, and win the game because you know how close you came <laughs> to winning. That's one of... The most painful things, I think, for the matchup is... Uh, and also because I've been playing a lot of two hatch meter recently, is when you get right on top of them, and you're doing a fantastic job, you've got lots of mutas remaining, and you're just constantly diving on top and killing everything, and you're on top of the production, you're trying to sneak links by, and then maybe one micro mistake later, you lose everything. Everything just dies all of a sudden at the same time. And somehow, you know, the Terran player just pulls everything together and wins the game. It's it's wild how quickly it can happen. But you got to respect Flash for choosing the proper build and executing it well. Even though he wasn't you know, doing the best job of fighting off the mutas and... Kind of threw away a lot trying to break the natural. He did have a nicely timed tech switch into Valkyries. Which came just in the nick of time to save him. Now we're getting into this game with another 12 hatch. 
out of Shaoshui. Will we see additional uh, another pressure play from Flash? Instead, he's going to build a CC with no Marines. And he may not build Marines for quite some time. He may go straight into a gas. He may build a, a eBay. In fact, that's what I'm expecting. He's going to grab this uh, supply depot, fill it, finish off the wall, build an eBay and a gas and just power up with hardly any defense at all. Keep checking, see if there's any e eggs or zealots or zealot zerglings popping out of these eggs. And build marines only when completely necessary because he can boost himself and optimize this build a lot from this position. And there it is. Refinery, engineering bay. And we should see four, four racks. That's going to be my next prediction. So far, I am one for one in this game. And uh, I'm looking forward to more wins here. Correct predictions. We'll go ahead and finish up this layer. No third hatch just yet, and only a, a single pair of links popping out now. So, Shaoshui also optimizing his build. He's seen that, you know, this barracks wasn't producing, so he's not afraid of anything. Uh, just making all drones up until this point. And we'll get speed now, and the spire is on the way. Flash going to want to confirm th that if at all possible. And it looks like he will see the Spire, which is, is great news for Flash. Second extractor going to be coming up for Xiao Shui. He took that a little bit late um, for the fact that he didn't build many Lings early on. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to balance the economy when you're uh, not building the things that you normally build in the early game. When you're just able to pump pure drones, uh, you can sometimes fall into the trap of just building what you usually build at the time you usually build it. Uh, buildings wise. Oh, wow. Look at this hatchery. What? He's taking six o'clock? Oh, man. This is going to get weird. Uh, there must be... There's got to be something planned out for Shaoshua. It's, it's like Muta all in or something like that. There's the four racks. There we go. Two for two now. In terms of uh, predicting these build orders. But with the hatchery this close, Flash has an easy path to victory if he finds this. Four racks plus one. With masses of Marines coming out, he's going to have a lot of power on the map. There's Flyer Carapace. Is this going to be a Guardian play? We'll have to watch this Flyer Carapace. When it hits 50% is when you generally start your Queen's Nest. In order to have all of those buildings line up. You want to have the Carapace line up with the uh, end of the Hive production. when the Right as the Hive finishes... You want that carapace done so that you can start your, your greater spire right away. Uh, and that's generally how it goes. But for now, just coming in. Going to try and poke. Not the greatest poke so far. He's taken quite a bit of damage. And not really dealt any uh, to his opponent. So the Marines are going to push out a little bit. They have uh, speed... Uh, Excuse me, stim and range already. Plus one is about to finish. Actually, yeah, there it is. It's just about to finish now. Does he have range? He definitely has range. There's plus one armor on the way. We saw some scans come out. He scanned this. Oh, God. He scanned this already? Oh, no. No, 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 no. How the heck did Flash know that that was there? How on... God's green earth did he figure that out. That makes no sense whatsoever. He's going to head towards the natural. There's actually nothing over at the natural either. So maybe he could just bust straight in there. 
Uh, Mutas are going to try to take this fight, but with the plus one, man, it's tough. That plus one really helping out quite a bit. And the Mutas are flying in one more time. Going to take a few last swipes. He's actually leaving quite a few Mutas behind, but since there's five, he will be able to finish this. However, big group of Marines coming up here. He gets the kills. Four drone kills, it looks like, on these Marines. And that is just about that. The entire plan for Shao Shui was resting on this base, not being scouted. And somehow, Flash just picked up on it immediately. I don't think he even scouted top left. No, he didn't. He didn't even scout up here. He didn't scout there. He didn't scout top center. For some reason, he just decided, you know what? Let me just scan bottom center. I think there might be a base there. Here comes the queen's nest, but it's quite late. It's actually going to be for an all-in uh, with just lurkers. He's going to lurker and try to get into Defiler. This time, the Defiler will not be that late, but we've lost so much. The drone for the, the drone for the hatch, the drone for the the gas, plus, you know, the drones that died down there. Uh, all of that, just not a part of this upcoming attack. He's gonna try and fight, and he just doesn't have all the tools. Whereas Flash, I mean, he lost a lot of Marines earlier, but he's still plus one, uh, plus one one four racks going into Valkyrie. I mean, he has the perfect build for this. If he was just going for a vessel, I think it might be better. The Valkyrie probably not going to do too well against what's coming up. Uh, the the Lurker plus the Filer attack. But, I mean, it's still going to do fine. It's going to help out. Targeting down the Marines, or excuse me, the Mutalist. These Marines will eventually fall. But... Flash is so far ahead at this point. He goes ahead and spots these Hydras. Hydras are going to be made into Lurkers in just a moment. And he will try to come across and contain this natural, but Flash will not be contained. He has two Valkyries out, which means that these Mutas are not going to be able to just kill the Marines. And the Lurkers are actually not even done, so he might be able to just run in and kill off some of these lurkers uh, before these even pop out. Lings are going to come in from multiple angles. Uh, Mutas as well. There's the lurkers. They should burrow immediately. Oh, the catch from behind. Great engagement from Shao Shui. And now he can actually come across the map. Oh, this is big. Wait, where's the defiler mound? Oh, no. He didn't start the defiler mound. He was under too much pressure. That defiler mound is so key. You have to have that on the way by now. Um, as soon as the hive finish, you have to start that immediately. Uh, it seems like he was just a little bit too busy, though. Running up with these lurkers. Gonna set up this contain. But every moment that the contain is up, Flash will be getting closer and closer to having a tank and vessel in order to deal with this. And as soon as that vessel comes out uh, and the tank gets to the front... We are in big, 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 big trouble. Drop heading out on the map. Oh my goodness. Drop is going to get caught. This is huge. Lings are going to come down to help this out. He drops out just two medics and two marines. Three marines. It gets completely annihilated. Shao Shui, is he doing it? Oh, dude. This is crazy. He's going to get the Valkyrie too. Oh. Oh. So close. So, so close. If only he could have gotten that Valkyrie. Ah! So close, man. Taking the base at 6 o'clock now. A Valkyrie does end up going down. Pretty annoying stuff here for Flash. Flash going to probably lose his Valkyrie as well. Uh, he can pull it back, though. Tank coming to the front. Oh, it's in range of that one Lurker. Diving forward with the Lynx. Can he get the tank? He will get the tank. That's so big. That tank going down is massive. He's only got one more tank about to pop out. Consume is done. Oh, it's almost done. The Defiler's making its way to the front. I don't think he can break out. Guys, 
Xiao Shui. I think he wins this game. Oh, it's so intense. It's so close. He's going after the vessel. He doesn't get the vessel. He backs up. He's got the lurkers. Oh, you don't need to back up to this. Just stay in range. He needs to get a consume. Consume something. Where is the consume? He needs the dark swarm. Where's the dark swarm? Oh, consume. Yes, he gets the muta. He gets one muta. He consumes the muta. The all important consume. Finally getting that down. Just four lurkers. He has to jump into this natural and get the kill right here, right now. A radiates come down. Dark Swarm. There's the uh, fire bats popping out. Fire bats are going to be able to clear this most likely. And a drop is heading out on the map as well. Oh, all the, the lurkers go down. The dropship is heading into the main base. It's all starting to fall apart now. Xiao Shui was so close to winning this game, but the drop is going to absolutely destroy his chances. He's completely lost control. Has hardly anything left. 15 drones is all that remains. What was the point of even building this extra hatchery? There's no way we're going to be able to mine from that. Oh, it's so painful. As a Zerg player, I, I can absolutely sympathize. He did such a good job of shutting down drops and controlling this game. And now he's been pulled apart. GG Flash takes this game home. But in another incredibly close match. This was crazy, crazy close. Look at where the Dark Swarm is in front of this. I swear, if Xiao Shui would have immediately consumed... Lings or Mutas and just thrown down the Dark Swarm and not allowed more of those Lurkers to die. If he had just kept the Lurkers in that line, quickly consumed something, Lings or, you know, whatever, just get something consumed and put down the Dark Swarm right in the front, he could have pushed into the natural and maybe won this game. It was an incredibly cr close thing, though. Xiao Shui almost taking this one home. Dude, he is going to win one of these games. I swear to God, he has to. We're going to jump into our next one, guys. Flash taking another one home, winning himself some more money. I'll talk more about the prize pool for this little show match in a moment, guys. But let's jump into game number three. Game number three now is Xiao Shui over in the top right-hand corner. Flash in the bottom left on kickback. I will leave a link to the information page for this little show match. But I can tell you right now that this match was not hugely uh, funded. There's a, around 470 US dollars on the line. The first place player will take home about 360. And the second place is going to take 115. So a very a low cost to bring Flash into a matchup right now, into a into a show match. Um, there was also uh, additional donations from the viewers of about $1,400 during the stream, uh, which I think went to Shao Shui, but I'm not sure how that might have been divided otherwise. Uh, it's uh, all a bit of a mystery here, however. Uh, some money was raised from the viewers, uh, but the initial buy-in or the initial uh, offering to bring Flash in was actually quite low. Now that's that's pretty doable, even for a small community, uh, to put together about 500 bucks to get Flash to play seven games. Like that's that's really reasonable. I wonder if that's something that we could do uh, at some point get players together to actually play some games. Wow, he's gonna, he's gonna be able to mine this mineral. Wait, Flash, what are you doing? Shoot that. <laughs> okay, he's, he's finally gonna shoot that. Uh, he better get another Marine over there. You don't want to allow Lings to suddenly come running in because you just didn't want to mine that, or di you didn't want to uh, build an extra Marine, but he's got his SCV on Shao Shui's side of the map. He sees what's going on over here, so he knows now, this is just a regularly timed layer with lots of drones popping out back at home. And in fact, he's not even going to build lings early on. Once again, 
getting a little bit greedy. And Flash will respond in kind. Just building an engineering bay and getting his gas going. He's going to jump into that plus one build all over again. Whew. I need a little drink of water. I don't usually do this, but that last game was pretty intense. Took a bit of toll of a toll on my voice box. There's an engineering bay block. Kind of a nice play by Flash. Slowing down this third hatchery in the third base. I don't know how much of an effect it's actually gonna have, but no, well, that might slow down the the third gas by a tad. And second gas should be coming up soon. Again, this is a 3,000 uh, Vespian Gas Geyser. These mineral fields are only 1,200, whereas the main base mineral fields are 1,500. I know I've mentioned this quite a bit, but it bears mentioning again that uh, these are extremely low yield patches with not much uh, actually to them. So... There is the big problem for Zerg that you are going to run out of minerals and gas pretty quickly if you decide to just stay on three bases for a long time. But look at this. Shao Shui started an Evo chamber, and there you have it. Crazy Zerg, the aptly named Biartosis build. Armor on the way. He's got his little eggshell being researched. He will be slipping that eggshell on to his back so that he can weather the storm of bullets from the Marines that Flash puts out. This is a build that was shown to be highly effect uh, effective when it comes to uh, this map uh, in ZVT. Sulky showed it off multiple times. Uh, and it's since been emulated by quite a few other players. But it, it it's certainly a strong build for the map. It's certainly a very, very good way to play. And we'll see if Flash can find a way to overcome the difficulties inherent in this build. And going up against this, he's going to start his factory. Will we see a tank push? And if we do see a tank push, are we going to see queens made? Because that's kind of how the build is done on this map. It's not, it's not standard, as you as you would say, or as I would say, um, by any metric or any uh, meaning of the word. Certainly not a standard build, but it's become kind of well known. It's it. It makes sense. It really does make sense the way that it's played is that you're going to go ahead and make some queens. And if the tank push comes, you can research broodling and kill the tanks and then, you know, bust out with your ultras a little bit later. And if you if they don't go for a tank push, then you can get in snare. And right as all of your ultras come online, you've got plus two armor or plus two carapace, excuse me. Uh, plus five armor with the uh, chitinous plating and ultra speed and all that good stuff then you're going to be able to bust out with ensnare you just hit the ensnare on a big group of bio and try to overwhelm that now I, i'm a little bit scared he's not building these into sunken colonies we need to we need to get this going um okay there we go sunken colonies will start is it too late i don't think he's gonna be able to dive in here in time but Flash may pull the trigger. He's coming up to the front. Okay, he's not going to pull the trigger on this. Still no queens just yet. No queens. Do we have drop? Or will he just wait for science vessels? Science vessels are going to start in a moment, I believe. We don't have armor in production, which I am highly suspicious about. Where is that armor? 
Um, <clears throat> this is this is kind of the the linchpin of the build here, Shao Shui. The armor upgrade. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> Armor's on the way. Bit slowed down though, unfortunately. Really want to start that as soon as possible because that is your timing. That is the entirety of the timing, really. Uh, that is everything to this build. So the fact that that was slow is going to hurt him quite badly. Now getting in here and killing some medics. And Marines is going to make that timing not as important, right? If you can get in here and kill a bunch of Marines and slow down Flash, then having the later Carapace is not going to matter as much, but it's still very, very important. Comes through, he kills a bunch of SCVs. He kills some Marines and Medics. And on the way out, he's going to open up this position to where he can maybe harass down some of these supply depots. There's no... Irradiate just yet, and even if there was, there's no energy for that. Third base on the way for Flash, and this actually could be the game that Xiao Shui wins. I know I keep saying that, but this is looking kind of okay. Like, we're, we're at 49 drones. He managed to make a huge wave of drones to supplement this economy. He has uh, a good amount of hatches. He's going to grab another one. Oh, no drops are coming out or anything like that. He's just going to be building up energy for Radiate and possibly uh, for some D-Matrix as well. And really, Shao Shui doesn't need to do anything but sit here, wait for uh, his plus two carapace, and just build a massive wave of Ultras. A base starts down in bottom right. Looks like a Marine was hitting that. So he knows about that base down there. Base in the top left will be made... Uh, in just a moment, it seems. Uh, might as well start throwing down bases on opposite sides of the map. This is exactly how you play Crazy Zerg. Uh, after you've held your three bases, you just start throwing out different hatcheries at different areas. You don't even need to really mine them. All you need to do is just get a gas going. And if you manage to get a gas, uh, that is that, that is everything. That's, that's all you need. Looks like this base will end up going down. He'll just cancel. Send a drone over to top left to uh, go ahead and start mining from that area. Get this uh, geyser going as soon as possible. Carapace plus two is just about done. There's the ensnare. The queens are very late though. I actually don't like this. I wish he would have built the queens earlier uh, so that they could gain some energy. If they're not that expensive, they're not crazy expensive. He certainly had the money to do it. Um, so holding off on that until now means that, you know, he's not going to be able to throw down as many ensnares as he maybe would have liked to. I like the, the snipe, of course, on the uh, science vessels is fantastic. More vessels coming out. Very nice wall from Flash. Might be time to maybe mine out this mineral field and then you just have one tiny little hole or I guess he could just keep lifting the science facility off over and over again whenever he decides to move out. Just takes a lot of APM and run bias will be a factor later on. Ultra number is increasing. Flash is just roaming with this big army. I'm not sure if you saw this or not. Natus Canal is done. Sunken's on high ground. Does he know about this? He does not. He's still scanning around. He's looking for that base. He's going to find it here shortly. Oh! One science vessel goes down. One almost falls. Flash about to find this. He does see it. He sees the high ground base. Cast one irradiate on these mutas. This is actually fine. I, I love it when they cast irradiates on my mutas if I'm going crazy zerg because uh, that's just one less irradiate for my ultras later on. Ultras are coming down this ramp, which I really don't like. This is a very bad attack from Xiao Shui. Um, he should absolutely not be fighting down the ramp like this. If he wants to hold with sunken colonies, he just needs to build a ton of sunkens. And just let that be it. Um, you also probably want to put the, the Ultra Lisk out in the front if you're going to hold position it like this. Let's take a look at the map for Xiao Shui. He's bringing a huge wave of Ultras from behind this army. Let's see if he can catch 
These Marines coming across the map. Looks like he won't be able to. No Ultras coming through that Nidus Canal either. Need to re-rally all of these hatcheries onto that Nidus Canal. Here he comes, hitting this from behind. All of the Scourge are going to come through. Maybe kill every single vessel. Yeah, almost all the vessels are going to go down. Very nice ensnare on this army. Here comes the uh, reinforcements through the Nidus Canal. He's going to wipe the floor with this Bioforce. Brilliant, brilliant play here from Shao Tsui at the end of that. Bringing together this army in the nick of time to save that base. Going to be able to get the fourth gas online and not a moment too soon. We're running very low on these gases back at home. Needs to get those operational as soon as possible. Catching just the last couple of Marines on their way back home. It's just 2-2 two, two for Flash. So, you know, this last upgrade at finishing, we're going to stay on even footing when it comes to upgrades for the rest of the game most likely and now that that first bio clump has been killed flash is in desperation mode he really needs to get more bases and he has to at the same time wait for a large amount of bio to to get out on this on the field so there there's a dilemma here you have to move you have to put pressure on but at the same time you can't really fight you don't have enough bio to fight the full army uh, of the Zerg. So five Ultras are going to be coming out soon. He has another uh, ensnare. There's not a lot of energy on these vessels. So it's it's kind of rough. How many Scourge do we have out? Okay, we've, get, we've got some Scourge coming to the fore. And the vessels are going to retreat. I thought he was going to come up here and irradiate everything. But he decides against it. Doesn't want to lose these vessels. Picking up another wave of bio. Wow, Flash's macro is crazy. Look at all the bio spilling out of this base. He's got so much bio heading up to the top left. He has plus three, plus two, but it's now plus five, plus two for these ultras. Oh, big, big irradiates on a lot of these ultras. One of the vessels is gonna go down. Ultra's gonna come from behind, it looks like, but you have to hit with everything at the same time and surround the army of Marines. You don't want to be hitting uh, your opponent with just part of the army while all of the Marines are firing. Here we go. Coming up from behind. Xiao Shui hitting this hard. How much health is left on these Ultras? Not a lot. It seems like we might have Flash Punch through. There's so few Ultras remaining. The Scourge are not going to make their connections. Some more Ultras will pop out and get through this Nidus Canal. Some Sunkins being made on the high ground. Giving Flash a hard time when trying to come up this ramp. But, okay. And a good ensnare there. Hitting a lot of these medics. Only the one ensnare though. Probably not going to be the difference maker. Trying to get on top of these Marines. Another Ultra will fall. This one going to be tanking damage so that the Sunken Colonies can keep fighting. Base bo bottom center is going to be taken. He finally gets that online. Not a moment too soon. Another ensnare goes down. The Sunken Colonies are holding their own. He loses the Nidus Network though. That's huge. The Nidus Network falling is massive and Flash is actually breaking through. He's somehow able to stop this base at the same time though shao shui taking another and another and another he has so many gases coming up if he gets some of these gases rolling he really does need to focus on getting drones to those bases and uh, putting down extractors uh, at this time though he's having a, a difficult make it it's very difficult for him to get up this ramp and actually deal with the army on high ground He's eating a lot of irradiates, and he's not bringing up Scourge to deal with this. Very low on that gas. Only 40 gas remains. He's not mining these gases. What is he doing? Xiao Shui. We don't need that much minerals. We need gas, my friend. Gas is what we need. Three Ultras are going to take this fight. They may actually end up winning it. The irradiated Ultras are going to do a lot of damage. Okay, no. No. Flash wins that fight, and he's going to send a force up to 12 o'clock, I believe. Oh, no. Xiao Shui. 
Are we really going to get rug pulled again? I thought he was going to win this match, my friends. What is happening? It's just not able to pull everything together at the 11th hour. Flash is he's just too calm. I, I feel like I've had this happen before uh, myself where you're like about to beat an opponent that you know is better than you and you just start shaking uncontrollably. Your hands are shaking. You're having, you know, nervous sweats. Things start falling apart and you're just not able to pull it all together. Uh, to deal the final blow. He's sending Lings in to deal with this army. But attack is coming into center right. Where are we going? What is going on? He needs to get army down here to deal with this push, but he's going to lose the base. Still not mining off these gases is crazy because he is just out of gas. He's got no gas left. Flash is pushing in everywhere. He's taking the base in the center left. He's holding that down. This base is gone. Everything that's popping out is getting killed by the uh, eraser, or not by the eraser, excuse me, by the science vessels that are just hovering over this natural while the bio is going around and clearing everything out. Two sunkens on high ground is great, but I don't think it's going to be enough to keep this alive. He goes ahead and starts two more, and four sunkens might do the job, but they're not here in time. He needs like a he needs an ultra to pop out. No, he does not have an ultra popping over at this base And I think he has just lost this game. That's got to be it. GG will be called shortly Great. Oh my god. That's so annoying. Great. Great eraser not eraser irradiate Poor flash and there it is damn What the hell shall I just not barely not able to take any of these games it started to get frustrating because every single one of them was so close to a victory so close to a victory and Xiao Shui gets he kind of steals defeat from the claws the jaws of victory for a third time in a row are we going to just see a straight up 4-0 for flash Will Shao Shui be able to bring one of these games to a win? We're gonna find We're gonna find out here in a moment. Pop in on over to game number four. We've got Flash in the top left and Shao Shui in the bottom left, who's just barely managed to lose every game so far. Now that we're in game number four, match point. This might be the final game of the series, guys. But it's been fun, honestly. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, although these guys are not super evenly matched in terms of their skill. I think these games have made it feel like they're quite evenly matched. And we've almost had some Shao Shui victories. Let's see what he pulls out for this fourth game is it gonna find some way to take down flash is flash gonna get fancy now that he's so far ahead is he gonna do something wacky the opener looking very normal he has the wall and another 12 hatch out of Shao Shui. he's not gonna be mixing it up at all sticking with this pretty much the entire series I'm not sure if I agree with it I personally like to throw in some different builds, throw in, you know, a 12 pool or a 9 pool. I sometimes go over pool as well in this matchup. There's a lot of different things you can do. But it seems like Joshua just sticking with his comfort play. And Flash, I mean, he's just going to get a very nice, easy expansion. He's going to have that wall. And he's just going to play his normal game. Will he go for a quick plus one build again? I think that makes sense. It's been working out very well for him so far. Joshua has been having a hard time with it. So why not just continue with that build? Yeah, I don't see gas or anything. So nothing fancy, nothing crazy out of flash. Joshua just going to... Drop that pool. First Marine walking across the map. This is pretty standard. 
in 2024. You can walk all the way over here into the natural. Just push away the drone. He's going to start the bunker, but I don't think this is actually uh, a real commitment. Starts a creep colony as a response. Four lings on the way as well. Oh, he wanted to do two hits on that marine, but he only got one. Kind of messed up the micro control there. I didn't want to lose the momentum with the drone, so... Kind of messes that up. Lings want to come forward and stop these marines from hitting the sunken colony, but... Marines are just going to jump backwards into the bunker. The sunken does finish, so this will be held. No reason to keep building lings at this point. He's going to go ahead and chase. See if he can get these kills at least. And he might get the kills, actually. He might be able to wipe this out. Three marines. Oh, the SUV isn't put in front. It's not very good. Flash. Kind of messing up the control there. Looks like he will stop this. He will kill all the lings and... Save one of the Marines, but he probably could have done a little bit better had he controlled the... Oh, oh, baited in, baited in. Okay, nicely done. Just get that kill. If he had controlled the SCV a little bit better, try to get some blocking going. Uh, usually flashes. SCV control is on point. But maybe in this game, falling a little bit short see what his build is going to be to Rax Academy uh, I don't know if this really makes sense to go to Rax Academy after that pressure you're forced out a sunken colony already so building a second sunk not going to be the biggest punish in the world if he just sits here goes you know 2.5 hatch which it doesn't look like Shao Shui is going to do could still throw that down now. It's a little bit too late. I guess he's just going to try to hit this mutilist timing. eBay is on the way. Five minutes. Then the eBay is... I mean, the eBay is not even close to being done. Is there going to be a, a window to punish? Shao Shui might be able to get in here and do a little bit, bit of punishment. I mean, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. But there is a chance. Flash might be thinking that he delayed a little bit more uh, Shao Shui's build than he did. He gets the scan. He sees eggs. And now he's going to see Mutas popping. He can only start the turrets now. Right as the Mutas are heading out, it should be enough time. It should just barely be enough time. But the SCV is already in position. Just starting the turrets immediately. Oh, it's not going to be enough time. There it is. There's the window. This is exactly what I was talking about. He's just barely able to get in here. Kills a couple of SCVs. And he slows down that turret just a little bit. Getting a few Marines as well. This is a very good start for Shao Shui. He didn't lose a single Muta. Can pull out that low HP one. Cycle it back in later as more mutas arrive or he can use it to try and break These turrets and look at this flash is thinking about trying to move out He thought that maybe the rotation was coming over towards the natural But instead it's back up into the main and more SCVs are being killed This is already enough damage to make these mutalists worth it a third base is on the way For Shao Shui. this is some excellent excellent control as he flies out picking off a few more SCVs on the exit Going to continue to produce mutas and flying back in for more damage. Even more damage into this main base. It's getting bad for Flash. He's lost so many SCVs. He's going to start to lose Marines too. Just six uh, mutalists left, but still enough to one-shot. Now no longer enough to one-shot with only three remaining. He can kill this last Marine, but it's starting to be a, a worse and worse trade. He's going to fly out now. Four more meters coming. One drone here. I'm not sure what that's for. I think that might have just been mixed in. He's adding some more drones, finally. And we'll get this uh, third base online. At least the third gas will come online soon. Will he just continue to mute all in? Will he just only build mutas? No, a Hydroden is on the way. 
A lot of turrets being built back at home for Flash. He's expecting a lot more pressure. And Shao Shui to double down on what's been working for him so far. But he is going to suddenly switch into Lurker and it might completely throw Flash for a loop. See what he sees. He sees the third. Third base has been revealed. That third gas going to start to mine. Once again, we do not see a Queen's Nest. The Queen's Nest being kind of thrown by the wayside. He's just going to all in with Lurker. But he hasn't started the Lurker upgrade yet. Okay, there it is. Lurker upgrade has begun. Fighting with the Marines a little bit. If he can wipe out this force and he manages to get a wave of Hydras in, uh, he could just contain Flash. But containment is not what he's going for. Okay, Queen's Nest does start. This seems a little bit late, though, for the build. For what he's trying to do. He's going to try and contain Flash. And eventually get a Defiler over with the Lurkers in a line. Just holding Flash back in his base. Nice job cleaning up all of these medics. Well, just one medic remains at the end of this. And yeah, he did manage to clean up all of those forces. Flash is in desperate straits. He's got a science facility coming up. I'm afraid to say it, but is Xiao Shui actually going to win this game? Finally, we're going to see a Chinese victory. Hydras are on the way. Muta is coming across the map. He's got 12. More than enough to fight the marine number that is on the field right now. So he can aggressively morph these lurkers into... Or morph these hydras into lurkers like right out in front if he wants to. He's going to morph them about halfway across the map. Hive is on the way. Six lurkers are in their eggs. And this is just not enough marines to stop six lurkers. That is for sure. Plus the mutas... Can't even handle the mutas themselves, not to mention with lurker support as well. So we're going to see Xiao Shui push this marine force back and try to set up lurkers right in this natural. Uh, if Flash loses all these marines, he can just run straight in and kill. I like the, the decision to go for uh, some vultures now. I thought he would be getting mines though. Mines are pretty strong against Lurkers. Of course, when you're running forward, the Mines can just kill off all the Lurkers. Two Lurkers do go down to the target firing of Flash, but the Lurkers that remain are going to get up right on top of the Supply Depots. First, Radiate goes down, but great pull by Xiao Shui. Excellent pull. He was ready for that one. Now he's going to run right up into this natural. Some Ling's dealing a bit of damage. Some... Uh, vultures are actually going to slip out. There's no speed on these lings, so he can't actually catch that. Certainly going to have a hard time catching it. And there it is. Flash taps out. Xiao Shui takes a victory. Oh, man. Putting himself on the board. Finally. Is going to extend this series for us. I was afraid. I was really afraid we weren't going to see a game number five. But I'm super happy that we got... Xiao, or Xiao Shui managed to get one victory. The turrets were just a bit late. The eBay was a tiny bit late for Flash this game. And the Muta control was beautiful from Xiao Shui. Dealing so much damage. Killing off so many SCVs. Really, really well done. We're going to jump into game number five, guys. Let's go check it out. Maybe Xiao Shui can get another victory. I don't know. Maybe this will be the last game. See what happens. So a very rare flash mistake leads to a Xiao Shui victory. Here he is, Flash himself, up in the top left-hand corner. Xiao Shui cross map bottom right on Radeon. Looks like he's going to send the Overlord directly over to this top center. I've tested this, guys. I know that even if your opponent goes eight racks on this map, if you send the order Overlord immediately, 
over to this area or to this area uh especially from here from here to here they're not going to be able to kill overlord before it reaches this position it's close but it will make it and so you can get an overlord over uh the top left and right natural no problem you just get it up to here and then you can rotate over uh to this natural and you figure out uh, what's going on you'll get that scouting information you will not lose the overlord very important that the map makers uh, game that type of thing out otherwise you know if the terran player could just easily prevent you from ever getting your overlord over their natural there's a lot of weirdness that can happen there's a lot of build orders that can become very powerful for the Terran player if they uh, can deny that scout it looks like SCV probably gonna see this overlord coming maybe just barely I think it's just it's just gonna miss yeah it doesn't see it and so he doesn't know where Shao Shui is just yet but I think he's going to go for bottom right after this uh, initial scout anyway. He sees no creep, so he heads down towards bottom right. We've got another 12 hatch from Shao Shui. Sending his first drone around the map. First marine? No. No marine out here just yet. Sending the second SCV just to make sure that there's no lings on the way. In fact, he sends the second or the first SCV towards the middle of the map. Just to make sure that there was no like, nine pool uh, links coming across. And after he spotted that, he knows he's safe. Just going to drop the CC behind the wall. And we're going to progress into a very normal game. In fact, with no marine pressure whatsoever. Don't even need to build drones. Or excuse me, uh, links can just build drones. As Shao Shui, you can see he was waiting a little bit. He went to 303. I believe it's 303 or 304. If you build your lair, you get an extra larva. And if you don't know how that works, it's that when your lair finishes, an extra larva will spawn. So if you wait until a larva, or if you hit 303 uh, to build the larva, uh, to build the lair then right before the layer finishes building a larva will spawn and then the layer finishes building and a larva spawns instantly right so you basically get one extra larva third hatchery on the way it is that 2.5 hatch you built four lings pretty standard stuff chase out this scv you can get a little greedy if you want to go for just two lings but it's much harder to catch this SCV. He really wants to get rid of this. You don't want to allow the SCV to just live in your base forever. He sees the natural. He sees the number of Marines standing there. And it is that plus one build again from Flash. And I think this makes a huge amount of sense. It's just, it's a good build. It's just such a solid build. See it all the time on ladder. Terran players have gotten really used to it. Zerg players have kind of gotten used to it as well. Uh, the strength of it is undeniable. And there's not a whole lot that you can do to punish it. But there are some things. Like you can you can hit this timing where your mutas fly in and there's no range. You can start to pick off a few marines. Just kind of shave things down a little bit. Kind of make up for the fact that he's going for four. Racks. Yeah, there's also not going to be that timing for Flash to come across the map at five minutes. And usually with a academy rush, you would see this Marine Medic army moving out. About eight Marines and two Medics. Something similar to that. And forcing some sunkins out of the Zerg player, but no sunkins are going to be made. So, no, there's pl 
positives and negatives to this build, but I would say that overall it's a very strong way to play. A third hatchery is on the way, but look at this positioning. He's just going to take the hatchery closest to him and likely go into a Hydra Defiler game. Uh, he could also Mutalisk Gall in. That is an option. You can see it. Flash building his turrets quite a bit earlier than uh, is totally necessary. Doesn't want to lose the game the same way as last time. Knows that there's going to be a strong timing where a lot of mutas are going to suddenly arrive. So he wants to have two turrets done by the time they get here. Two turrets at each location. So we've got two there, two there. We have two, actually three in the natural. So being nice and careful. And you can see it. Right as the mutas arrive, we do not have range. Plus, also, plus one is not done. So, Flash is going to stay back really passively. Wait for those upgrades to come in. Shaving off a few marines right now would be awesome for Shao Shui, but he's running out of time. And yeah, there's that range. It's done. Plus one is about to finish as well. All the marines have been healed up. He has to fight this, but diving in now is, is not a good idea. Trying to force stims is probably going to be the best option. Just try to get this guy to stim as many times as possible. There's a lack of medics. You know, they don't have infinite energy. As long as he keeps this army stimming, I think that's going to be fine. He's thinking about diving in. I don't know about this. He needs to track this army. Don't allow it to walk across the map so quickly. A lot of lings are out. Oh my gosh. Shao Shui just lost two mutas for free. That is insanely painful. I hate that so much when that happens to me. Just don't even... You're, you're just trying to fly back. You're trying to spot them. Oh my god. He's just going to go straight in. Doesn't even worry about uh, microing down these marines. He's just going to go full on with the lings. He takes out that whole force. All the medics do survive though. And now the medic count is getting quite high. Seven medics in this army. Very few marines though. No, just 10 marines to contend with. But he doesn't have the, the necessary forces to wipe this out just yet. That's a lot more lings though. Very soul key-esque what we're seeing. Shao Shui making huge amounts of lings. And he's going to try and wipe this out one more time. Can he actually get the good fight that he's looking for? He's ready to go in. Here comes the Lings. He's sending them in. Two different groups of Lings going to jump on top of these Marines. Getting the full surround and absolutely executing this army. At just fantastically done. And maybe he can even dive straight in and just get the kill. Great blocking with the SCVs. But this is going to kill so much. More mutas are coming up. More Lings are coming across the map. He's re-rallying to the front. Has quite a bit of money. No follow-up from Shao Shui or any sort of transition. He's just building Lings, mutas, and going for the kill. He's up on the high ground, starting to kill off FCVs here. The turrets are going to be falling as well. These turrets going down is huge because the follow-up mutas will be that much stronger. They're on the way across the map right now. Turrets going down in the natural Pretty much all of these are going to fall, plus the two signs, uh, two, two depots. And already we're even on worker count with the third gas. Not mining yet for Shao Shui, but I mean, there's, this is so much pressure. He's got to be shaking right now. His hands just flying across the keyboard. He wants to win this game so badly. He wants to get this uh, victory over Flash. Who's just been pounding him three games in a row for the first three games. Such a difficult player to overcome, but he's just about done it. He's pushed back Flash off of his natural. He still has a ways to go, though. Breaking up this ramp is going to be a tough... Uh, it's going to be tough to get up the ramp. Really tough. And he's not going to kill the command center. All right, Ling's going to get a reasonable surface area on some of these Marines, but the Mutas are dying so fast. He will kill the last Marine, though, and as all the Marines go down, the Ling's get up this ramp. I think this is GG. He's done it. Shao Shui gets a second victory. Oh, the comeback. The comeback, the reverse sweep. Is it possible? Shao Shui 
Putting two on the board for China. Flash. His cheeks have got to be red at this point. He let Xiao Shuai get away with two victories in the mutilist stage of the game. He didn't even have to go to Defiler at all. And the first three games were very close as well. It's not like he was crushing. I think I just said earlier that he was crushing, but he was... He, I mean, he did get the win, but it was close, guys. Flash. These two games did not look that close, though. Like, this this last one especially. Xiao Shuai just ran him over with Lings and Mutas. These are probably the least close games out of the series. And they're both Xiao Shuai victories, so... Some momentum now going for Xiao Shuai. Can he continue it forward... We're going to find out. Game number six. I didn't think we were going to get to this point, but here we are. Jumping into our next game. Xiao Shuai versus Flash. Game number six. Pink Terran. Love it. Looking good. These two players putting out some great games for us today. Shout out once again to our Chinese partners. Sending these replays over. And just putting on an excellent show match for us. I think the choice is clear from Flash at this point in the series. Valkyries are going to be key to his victory. They worked well in some of the earlier games in the series. And Xiao Shuai has shown a serious propensity for just pumping out mutas and lings and what does uh, that bio force need just some extra splash damage in the air or some splash damage in the air to wipe out those mutas that huge investment into mutas nullify that investment and then overcome the the waves of units that are coming out again with the uh, wall in at the front Flash has gone for that nearly every game another 12 hatch out of Shao Shui So consistent with these two builds There are a lot of variations that can come out of these openers Pretty much the same stuff out of Shao Shui so far Kind of reacting to what Flash is doing and opening just straight up macro style. Gonna get in here at this SCV just before the barracks finishes. He will not be able to win that fight though. Pretty good micro. Not bad. Hey, getting a couple of free shots off. You'll love to see it. Getting that high drone moving. A little bit of flick shot action. It's a couple more hits off, but oh, just barely saves the drone. That was really, really close. You. You super don't want to lose that. Definitely don't want to lose that drone. That would be very painful. If Flash comes in and catches this, that would be super, super sick. It would be a little bit tough, but it's potentially possible. There's only three hits left on that. The SCV gets his cutters out. Is that called again? Fusion cutter. What's this called? Spines. Okay. Not very creative there. Could have, uh, could have probably come up with something a little bit more, uh, interesting for the name of the drone attack. Especially since it's not really spines, it's like spit. Like acid. The SCV is going to be tracked down pretty quickly. And what do we have from Flash? Two Racks Academy. This is a Stim Rush. We're going to come across the map and just try to force these sunken colonies for sure. This time, not going for the early plus one. Academy should be coming down in just a moment as the SCVs get transferred. There it is, the Academy. And yeah, this is like the eight, eight Marines, two medics timing that I was talking about earlier. 
Flash wants to put on some pressure. It'll be up to Xiao Shuai to identify that and get two sunken colonies in time. He's for sure going to need those. The only time where you can potentially not build those sunken colonies is where you force the Marines back with a Ling run by, or if you've gone for example, a, t a 11 pool, 12 gas build where you're going to go really light on the econ. Wait, what? what's going on with the drones? I'm lost. Why, why are the drones being transferred? He doesn't want to mine from the Oh, I see. Okay, I know exactly what's happening. He's hiding the fact that he's not building drones. He's going to meet his skull in. And he's got a bunch of lings. He's waiting for the scan from Flash in the natural. Oh, this is so big brain. I love it. Flash is going to scan with one scanner. Okay, he's got two. He's got two scanners. Oh, the lings. The lings go. Oh, how many of these can he kill? He should have waited a little bit longer, I think. Wait for the Marines to come out of this uh, wall in. He managed to turn around. He goes for the scan. He sees the natural. He sees all the drones there. But this is... This is so sneaky. He wanted to hide the fact that he was building Lings. Xiao Shuai transferring drones to the natural. Knowing that Flash is has the propensity to do a scan in... The, like We haven't even seen Korean players do this. This is so cool. This is really, really cool stuff from our Chinese pro. Coming up with some very out-of-the-box ideas. And now going to come into this main. Can he just win straight up with a two hatch muta, though? He was supposed to kill, like, all the Marines with those lings. Like, that, that play was supposed to just wipe out the Marine force so that he could potentially dive in and just win this game with muta straight up. But... You know, he killed about half the Marines, and I don't know if that's good enough. Mutas are going to sneak in here. Do a little damage to these Supply Depots. Supply Depot's very low. He's doing a lot of bouncing of these Glaives, which is super annoying for Flash. Flash doesn't have range yet. A few more bounces, trying to get a couple kills. There's the range finally finishing up. And so now the bunker is going to do a lot more damage to these mutas every time they poke in. In fact, almost all the mutas have taken a little bit of damage, as you can see. Like 2-3 damage on basically all of them. He gets a supply depot. He's waiting for more mutas. Just more and more mutas going to be coming across the map now from Shao Shuai. He is fully committed. He's built no more drones back at home. He is only going to build mutas for the rest of this game. Okay, wait. He builds two more drones. Two more drones on the way. Flash scanning. He sees the main. He sees the lack of drones. And he sees the tech. This is huge. Spotting the tech and the lack of drones. He knows exactly what's going on. Looks like he wants to get a vessel out as quickly as possible. And a tank as well. This is a great response. It might be tempting to try and go for a, a Valkyrie in this position, but he's built a lot of turrets. He's not going to die straight up to the Mutas. Uh, not for a while, anyway. Coming into the main now. Doing a little damage. But when he sees the, the transition, he knows. I just need a tank and a vessel. Tank and vessel is going to be my key to victory. Xiao Shuai is going to try everything he can to just end this game as quickly as possible. He's going to build a bunch of lurkers, set them up in the front, and wait for that defiler. He is not slow on the hive this time. He is right uh, on schedule. But will he have the ability to break Flash? I think Flash has the perfect response. Another tank is about to pop out. He's going to have like two, three tanks by the time the lurkers get to that front. With the vessel, that's the perfect counter. It's exactly what you want in a situation like this. Hive just about to finish. He gets the scan there. Once again, just checking that out. 
knowing the timing of the hive he's gonna know exactly when this defiler can make its way to the front he will have irradiate and a first vessel maybe even a second vessel out by the time this uh, starts to hit at his natural i think we may need to dive shao Shui might have to just go in and try to kill the tanks if he doesn't kill the tanks i think he's he's gonna lose these tanks are so powerful against what shao Shui has done they're gonna be able to unseized hit the lurkers from range and there's really nothing that Shao Shao can do. He's going to try and dive in. Oh my god. He's going to go for it. Great spread on these Marines. The Lurkers are all going to go down. The Irradiate does a massive amount of damage. And the Mutas have disappeared. There's nothing behind this. 19 drones to 35 SCVs. Shao Shui taps out. Oh boy. What a gambit. What a game. Six, this final game of the series. Flash has taken it home. He's taken his winnings back with him. And a well-deserved win at the end of this series. This this has been a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoyed this series. Uh, we have one more series between Flash and another Chinese pro. I'm going to be putting that out later this week. So make sure to subscribe. Follow along with the channel. This is a real pleasure to cast. So many good games this series. I I mean, game one, two, and three were all crazy close. This, this one was probably the most interesting to me, though. Uh, just from a strategic standpoint. I thought this was so cool. What Shao Shui did. It, it loses you some money, of course. Transferring these drones. But look, he just keeps sending drones from his main to his natural. And then he slowly transferred these drones out. And he hid these lings. He made a bunch of lings, hid them. He knew that Flash was going to scan him. And make a decision based on that. He's showing only four lings. He knows that this is going to be a push. Everything was done so perfectly by Flash. Or by, uh, by Shao Shui. Ah. Uh, right here, he reveals the lings. And Flash moves back into position so perfectly. Look at the stim. is just about done. If he had moved out a little bit more aggressively. Shao Shui would have completely surrounded this. Wait, I didn't see the I didn't see the scan. Where was it? Right, here's the timing. Five minutes. That's when you're supposed to be moving out as Flash. You can see the two medics are about to finish. Oh, he didn't even wait for a scanner. Oh, this was so well done. If only he had if he'd had the lings up here. Oh my goodness. If Shao Shui had moved the lings to the north. To get a better angle coming in from the top. Because the way that he did it, he had him from this side. He had to move through this way to get around these marines. If he had come in from this side with a big spread of lings. And he comes in with these ones from the bottom. Like comes this direction. He could have killed way more. But Flash manages to get into a reasonable spot. You cannot break this with just pure lings. The four Marines and two Medics will shred all these Lings, so... Oh, it's so close. You can see Stim's still not done, so he can't even Stim. If all of those Marines die and there's still some Lings left over to, you know, start hitting turrets and killing SCVs and that... This game is a one game, and we're in game seven. Shao Shui so close to a victory. So close to a victory in this game. Oh, it's painful. It is so painful. I guess the scan didn't come down until after. Like, all of this was mapped out so nicely from Shao Shui. But Flash moving out really, really carefully. Knowing that this is a possibility. Like, you don't even need to, to hide the drones like this. So the, the play didn't even come into effect, unfortunately. But what you would usually do is 
right at about at about five minutes you have your eight marines two medics and you finish your scanner you scan the natural if you see a full drone saturation you push out and force two sunkens if you don't see full drone saturation say there's like three drones or two drones here then you know that there's lings and mutas on the map and you need to just be careful well, not mutas just yet, but you know there's a bunch of lings out on the map somewhere. And you just need to sit, wait a little bit longer, wait for your stim to finish, wait for two fire bats, and then the push out will be that much stronger. Like, you can just annihilate the lings with two fire bats. You got two fire bats with this force. Those lings are going to do basically nothing. And if you're able to push across the map with you know, eight, all eight Marines, you're going to force the Mutas to stay back. You'll get all your turrets up. You'll be light years ahead. So flash. Ah, I hate to say it, man. He just, he had the exact right decision-making for this position. He got a little bit lucky as well that Shao Shui didn't have uh, the perfect surround. He was super eager to pull the trigger. And so he didn't wait for Flash to move out a little bit further. If he had waited, like, at a, I'm going to say, like, 10 more seconds, Flash might have moved out a, a little bit further. And then, you know, as he's starting to move out, he would have scanned, seen the natural, and then the play could have come into effect. But Chao Chui, he just wanted it so bad. He wanted it so bad. He would just, just jump the gun a little bit there. You can see the stim is still not done. So if he had just waited a few more seconds, I really do think he could have won this game. And who knows what could have happened in game seven. Very interesting series, guys. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.